Hi, and welcome back to The Book Nook. Today, I'm going to give you some tips on how to build your child's understanding of story structure. Story structure is the underlying elements of a story that most stories have in common. So most stories have these five key elements. They have characters, or who the story is about. They have a setting, which is where the story takes place. They have a problem that the characters are trying to solve. They have actions, which are the steps that the characters are trying to take to solve the problem. And they have a resolution or an ending. The book I've chosen for building an understanding of story structure is Just a Mess by Mercer Mayer. I love the Little Critter series because there are a few main characters, there are lots and lots of problems, and the storylines are pretty simple and straightforward, so those Casper elements are very clear, which makes them easy to highlight and talk about. The first time you read Just a Mess with your child, the goal is to help them understand what's happening in the pictures and what's happening in the words of the story. You can do this by making comments about different Casper elements. For example, on the cover, you could point out Little Critter, and you could say, that's Little Critter. That's who our story's about. On the first page of the book, you could say, uh-oh, Little Critter has a problem. He can't find his baseball mitt. Another way to build your child's understanding of story structure is to actually use the Casper terms. If these are new words for your children, you can stress the terms and give a short explanation. A good way to know what to talk about is to follow your child's lead. When your child points to a picture or makes a comment about something happening in the book, you can follow up, linking his comment to a Casper term. For example, if your child points out Little Critter on this page, you could say, that's Little Critter. He's our main character. That's who the story's about. Or at the end of the book, you could say, so Little Critter solved his problem and found his mitt. Now he can go play baseball. That's the resolution or the ending of this story. It all turned out okay. Once your child has heard the story a couple of times and you've started to highlight the different Casper terms for your child, you can ask one or two questions before you even start the reading to see if your child remembers these Casper elements. So you could ask, do you remember any of the characters in this book? Or, do you remember what Little Critter's big problem is in this story? You don't want to ask too many questions because you don't want your child to feel like they're being put on the spot, but answering these questions might help solidify your child's understanding of story structure. And we're hoping that he'll start to bring his understanding of story structure not only to this book, but to other stories he hears as well. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Book Nook. Let me know if you try out these strategies for building an understanding of story structure with your child or the children you work with in the comments below. And don't forget to hit subscribe or click on that notification bell so you know when the next Book Nook video is live. Bye and thanks for watching!